Fast selection in post-process after rendering is a key to a healthy 3D life, because how would you select this sofa without going nuts? That's why an object ID render pass is needed. ID pass will help you select any object in your image with one click. Now that's cool. You can get the ID pass in Blender from the viewport shading. Normally, we use the studio as a default, or the matte cap if you're fancy like me, but the one we need here is the flat lighting. The random colors will do the job for you in assigning different shades to each object. Thus, with flat random colors, we get this, which is what we want. You also need to turn off the overlays, and there's also an outline option in the viewport shading. We will keep it on for now, and you will see why later. Two other factors in rendering this are the color management. Make it on standard, cause the filmic will give you a pale render, while the standard is the real look from the viewport. The other factor is the resolution. Since the viewport render has fixed samples on 8, you can up the resolution or the camera frame to get a better quality image. So, do your settings right, and go to the View menu to render the viewport. The outline in the viewport shading is still on, cause I will render with and without it. So we need to render two images. You can import those ID passes over your render on any editing software. Then use the one without the outlines, cause that's the main one you need, and select the sofa with one click or any other object you want to edit. Once the selection is done, we can generate a new layer from the render shot and edit the sofa color with ease. Sometimes Blender adds random colors that are similar, so if you want to select one object like this area, another object will be included, and that's why we render the outline image. It's not ideal, since it adds an extra black line around the object which we don't want, but it can fix it for you in a fast way without losing your mind on selection. And that's all for today. Remember to like and share if you're still here, and see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.